In the darkest waters on Earth, beneath the frozen ceiling of Antarctica, something enormous moves. Its shape is obscured by miles of crushing pressure and total blackness. Only when a beam of light cuts through the abyss does its silhouette appear. Vast, silent, alien. This is Mesonicotuthis Hamiltoni, the colossal squid, the largest invertebrate known to science. A creature so rarely seen that almost everything we know comes from fragments. Torn arms on fishing hooks and footage measured in seconds. Yet from those fleeting glimpses an image emerges of a predator perfectly adapted to one of the harshest environments on Earth. Not a monster of myth, but a masterpiece of evolution, sculpted by pressure, cold and darkness. The colossal squid inhabits the remote waters of the Southern Ocean, around Antarctica, a realm defined by extremes. Temperatures near freezing, pressure over a thousand times what we feel at the surface. Sunlight vanishes within a few hundred meters. Below that, endless night. While its cousin, the giant squid, Architeuthis ducks, lives in warmer mid-latitude oceans, Mesonicotuthis Hamiltoni rules the icy abyss. It is not just longer, it is heavier, thicker, denser. Specimens recovered by trawlers weighed up to 500 kilograms, half a metric ton of pure muscle and mystery. Its eyes are the largest of any animal on Earth, up to 27 centimeters across the size of a dinner plate. These enormous eyes are not a coincidence of scale. They are built to detect the faintest bioluminescent flickers in the Antarctic dark. Each is a light-collecting telescope, scanning for the outline of prey or the approach of an even greater predator, the sperm whale. The colossal squid is not elegant. It is built like a tank. Its mantle, the main body, is thick and muscular, capable of generating massive bursts of jet propulsion. Its arms are lined with sharp, rotating hooks, a weapon no other squid possesses at this scale. Unlike suction cups, these hooks spin, locking into flesh as the tentacles contract. Each of its eight arms and two long feeding tentacles work in perfect unison, a mechanical choreography of precision. When prey enters range, the squid's tentacles shoot forward with astonishing speed, impaling and retracting in a single motion. The prey is pulled toward a parrot-like beak, capable of slicing through bone. Inside, the beak connects to a muscular esophagus that leads directly through the brain. A strange anatomical twist. To feed, the squid must tear prey into pieces small enough to pass through its own central nervous system. Surrounding its beak is a ring of nerve fibers, the most complex of any invertebrate. The control center of a body engineered for ambush. Predation in the deep sea is a delicate balance of stealth and patience. Down here, even a ripple of water or a pulse of light can betray a presence. The colossal squid hunts primarily the Patagonian toothfish, a powerful swimmer, often reaching two meters in length. But in the darkness, size is meaningless. The squid relies on his sixth sense, a combination of vibration, chemical detection, and light sensitivity. When a toothfish strays into range, the squid remains still. It adjusts its buoyancy using ammonia-filled tissues hovering effortlessly in mid-water, neither sinking nor rising. Then in an instant, the tentacles launch. Hooked arms coil and twist, crushing and tearing. The ROV camera jolts. A shadow engulfs the frame. No sound, no struggle. Only the slow, deliberate feeding motions of the abyss's silent hunter. In these frozen depths, every predator is also prey. The sperm whale, the largest toothed predator on Earth, regularly dives to a thousand meters, sometimes deeper, in search of the colossal squid. Scars on the heads of whales show the evidence, circular wounds from rotating squid hooks. When these two giants meet, the battle is violent and brief. A whale's sonar locks onto its target. The squid counterattacks, flailing, grappling with its massive tentacles. But the whale's jaws close, crushing, swallowing the giant whole. Scientists studying whale stomachs have found undigested squid beaks, sometimes hundreds in a single whale. It's an eternal duel, waged in darkness unseen by human eyes, but written across the scars of both species. Life at two kilometers below the surface demands extreme adaptations. At that depth, water pressure reaches nearly 200 atmospheres. Human bodies would collapse instantly, yet the colossal squid thrives. Its secret lies in chemistry. Its blood contains a copper-based molecule called hemocyanin, 
far more efficient than our iron-based hemoglobin in carrying oxygen at freezing temperatures. Its tissues contain antifreeze proteins, preventing ice crystals from forming inside its cells. And its metabolic rate is astonishingly low, a design for endurance, not speed. This allows the squid to remain motionless for hours, conserving energy, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. In the deep ocean, patience is the ultimate weapon. Chapter 6. The Mystery of Reproduction Almost nothing is known about how the colossal squid reproduces. Every observation has come from chance. A trawler's net, a stranded carcass, or a passing camera. We know that males are smaller than females. We know that during mating, a male uses a specialized arm called a hectocotylus to transfer packets of sperm, sperm metaphors, into the female's mantle cavity. But how this happens or where remains a mystery. In some captured specimens, scientists have found spermatophores embedded directly into tissue, suggesting that mating may be a violent, even traumatic process. In the deep ocean, tenderness is rare. Survival requires efficiency. After fertilization, the female releases a massive gelatinous egg mass floating freely in the water. Each egg is suspended in mucus, protected from freezing temperatures and drifting predators. As the embryos develop, the egg mass becomes luminous a ghostly cloud in the abyss. When the young hatch, they are only a few centimeters long, miniature versions of the adults, transparent and fragile. Most will not survive their first days, but those that do will grow slowly over decades into the titans of the southern ocean. Despite its size, the colossal squid is one of the least observed animals on Earth. The first complete specimen was captured in 2003 near Antarctica, tangled in a toothfish line. In 2007, another was hauled aboard a New Zealand fishing vessel, frozen, preserved, and later dissected by the Tapapa Museum in Wellington. That specimen measured 10 meters long and weighed nearly 500 kilograms. Its eyes were so large that a human could fit inside the eye socket. Its hooks, hundreds of them, still rotated freely even after death. Scientists found tiny parasites inside its tissues, microscopic hitchhikers that survive only inside colossal squid flesh. Even in death, it supports an ecosystem all its own. The colossal squid belongs to the family Cranchidae, commonly known as glass squids. Most of its relatives are small, transparent drifters living in open water. But over millions of years, one lineage adapted to life at the extreme. Its ancestors likely lived in mid-water zones feeding on small fish. As the Antarctic deep became colder and darker, evolutionary pressure favored size, muscle, and stealth. Being larger allowed it to maintain internal heat, resist predators, and travel greater distances between scarce meals. The result is a species that pushed the limits of invertebrate evolution, a creature as massive as a whale yet silent as a shadow. Few features define the colossal squid more than its eyes. Each one is a biological telescope, specialized for detecting faint light from bioluminescent flashes. In the Antarctic deep, many creatures emit light to communicate, hunt, or lure prey. The squid uses this light indirectly to see by others' illumination. Its retina is adapted to maximize sensitivity to blue-green wavelengths, the only colors that penetrate these depths. A special reflective layer like a cat's enhances visibility even in near-total darkness. One theory suggests the squid uses its eyes to spot the shadow of a sperm whale passing between it and the faint bioluminescent plankton below, an early warning radar of light and shadow. In this way, the colossal squid sees its hunter before the hunter ever knows it's there. Every discovery raises more questions than it answers. How many colossal squids exist? How deep do they truly go? Do they migrate with the seasons or remain eternal guardians of the Antarctic abyss? ROVs and deep diving submersibles have scanned thousands of hours of footage, but sightings remain almost non-existent. For every frame we capture, countless lives unfold unseen in the dark. And perhaps that is the point. The deep ocean does not reveal its secrets easily. Its inhabitants are designed not to be found, but to endure. The colossal squid stands as a living symbol of how little we understand our own planet. It is proof that even in the age of satellites and global mapping, there remain worlds unexplored beneath our feet. Scientists estimate that 90% of the deep ocean's biomass remains undescribed. For every colossal squid known, 
there may be dozens more unseen drifting beneath the ice. In the mythology of humankind, the deep has always been a place of monsters. But the truth is stranger and far more beautiful. These creatures are not monsters. They are survivors, products of time, pressure, and adaptation. They remind us that life finds a way, even in the most hostile corners of Earth. As the ROV drifts downward, the light fades again. A shadow passes across the camera, immense, graceful, and gone in an instant. Perhaps it was another colossal squid, perhaps only a trick of the current. But in that moment, we glimpse the truth. The ocean still hides giants. Down here, time slows. Sound vanishes. Only the pulse of life continues. Demence eternal. In the world's most remote frontier, beneath a ceiling of ice, the colossal squid reigns unseen, a guardian of the abyss, a survivor of an age before humans ever dreamed of the deep. And long after we are gone, its kind will still drift through the black waters of Antarctica, massive, patient, and free. The abyss remains a realm of silence. But through science, through light and curiosity, we have begun to listen. Every glimpse of the colossal squid reminds us that the unknown still lives. That evolution has not finished its work. That in the cold and the dark, beauty still thrives. As we turn off the ROV's lights, the last image fades. A faint pulse of movement far below, disappearing into forever. The deep still breathes.